Hello everyone, today we are gonna know about this view model scope and dive cycle scope. What are these scopes? Let us know about this. So first one, life cycle scope. Coroutine scope attached to with life cycle activity or fragment. It is that type of uh, scope which is attached to the activity or fragment. If the activity destroys, this, this coroutine would also be destroyed. And when the activity uh, starts, it would also start. So coroutine uh, in the scope will be cancelled automatically when life cycle is destroyed. We don't need to manually cancel the coroutine. We don't need it uh, to manually cancel it uh, once by coroutine dot cancel or anything. It would be cancelled when the activity or fragment destroyed. The next one, the view model scope. Coroutine scope attached to the view model the same as activity life cycle scope. It is attached to the view model and when the view model destroy, it is also destroyed. We model have one uh, ma uh, function here or right function which is uh, on clear function. So when it cl get clears, the view model uh, get clears, then the this uh, scope would also be destroyed. All right. Now let's go to Android Studio and take a look to how to do it. For that, uh, you have to pass this dependencies here, life cycle view model and life uh, cycle runtime. For this is for the activity life cycle and this is for view model. First of all, here create uh, one global scope so you could understand it. Global scope, global scope that launch. All right, and now here do one thing while pass to here while 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 this condition is true go on and execute this line log d here pass still running all right and here also pass a delay here delay here pass uh, 1000 millisecond here and also create here another global scope uh, global scope global scope dot launch and uh, here start another activity so for that create another activity here activity empty activity here second activity all right and uh, now just finish it for this now what you have to do here just start activity here start activity here pass intent to a second activity start activity intent intent and this and second activity dot class dot java and here for this main activity all right and finish it after this finish okay and before this pass the delay here a delay here 5000 millisecond here when I run the app here and here also uh, print a log here log G paste here activity destroyed all right now here when it would go to the second activity so it would show this let me run the app so you would understand what I mean here now here you can see here it is printing the same here even the activity is destroyed after five seconds but it is printing the same still running still running why because the global scope is up to the app finishes up to that this global scope works so what you would do with this even the activity is destroyed but it is still showing so what you would do here here we would change this global scope to life cycle scope life cycle scope here and now when I run the app here you would see what does it change here right. now here it has printed this printing this again and when it reaches to 5 second and this goes to this another activity so the acti activity destroys here so here it is printed that activity destroyed it is not running uh, as we were doing in the global scope because the life cycle scope is the uh, that scope which is attached to the activity life cycle here. Alright, 